Okay, just a quick little one here. We're just gonna go over how to use a duck as a backup device. So, this is the device in question. So it's another backup device. Um, it's labeled directional arrow. So in order to put this onto a rope, we ensure the arrow is pointing up. This little spring-loaded arm here, what I want to do is just pull that back out to 90 degrees so the space inside the frame there is uh, nice and open, okay? And then that's just going to pop onto the rope like so, okay? Press the rope into the top of the frame, clip the whole lot on, okay? And then just uh, grasp that just down towards the bottom. I'll remove the carabiner or my cow's tail. That little arm pops through and then I can reattach my cow's tail on the opposite side there. As always, carabiners, make sure they're done up. Um, so, the way the duck works is, we can reposition that higher. Uh, in the event of taking a fall onto our backup device, it's got a, a cam that will pinch or clamp onto the rope to lock into place there, okay? So, the do's and don'ts with the duck, okay? Do use the carabiner to raise the duck higher. Don't grab the body and squeeze it to reposition it. Carabiner up, little toe cord on the opposite side of it between finger and th between finger and thumb to bring that back down. Okay. So other than installing or removing the duck from the rope, we don't want to handle or be grabbing the body of it. Simple reason for that, if we do grab that, we override its ability to lock, okay? So that's pretty much the key thing there. So uh, that's the duck uh, on a rope ready to go, okay? When we're using it, if I'm gonna be climbing up, work in line into the crawl as usual. Now we'll just throw the hand jammer onto the working line as well with the foot loop, okay? Sure, all carabiners are done up. Once we've taken the first step up off the ground, okay, again, just start with a small step. And the first thing we always do is just get that back up nice and high. Okay. As you can see, just taking one little step up, that backup device or the duck, it's pretty much right down to where my shoulder is. So we do want to make sure that we slide it up nice and high before we climb any farther. Okay, one step up, move the duck, and then up on the working line from there. Okay, and that just repeats until we get to where we're going. Okay, changing over and coming down, descend is on, make sure that's locked. Make sure the duck is not so high it gets left behind, not so low that I step too high. Quick little changeover. Sitting in my descender there. Hand jammer out of the way. Okay. And using a duck to descend down. I'm just going to operate them independently. So I've used the toe cord there, just brought that down to the height of my descender. I then descend down a little bit, reposition the uh, duck a bit lower, and just alternate from descender to duck to descender to duck. Now you notice the whole time my right hand is still hanging onto the tail end of the rope, so I'm just using my left hand to go between the descender and the duck as I'm descending down. And that's pretty much it.